They say it is a vessel of understanding. I'm here to show you. There is something more. I am alchemy. I'm here to keep my promise, as I say it in the intro, I'm here to show you that there is something more to the alphabets, more than what meets that mind's eye right here. Let's start with the letter A, since A. A itself is A, B, C. As A has three names. One is the alchemist. The sum total of those letters. The alchemist. D is 33. Alchemist is 90. The sum of those letters is 123 which is ABC. The second name of A is the conscience, the conscience. Again, T-H-E is 33. Conscience is 90. Interesting. 9 plus 0 is 9. And the ninth letter of the alphabet is I, which is the name of your conscious mind. Back to that in a minute. The third letter, third name of the letter A, is the emperor. That's the ruling, the ruler, the ruling consciousness, which is yours, as you must rule over yourself, and you will rule over yourself if you which is the conscience, practices the very substance of that C-O-N, light on science, as C is light, as in E equals MC squared. That's light on science, the science of keeping the lights on in your head. Because you must be conscious or know nothing. You must be awake and you must be aware. You must have the ability to see what is at work all out there and all around you because it is in operation. It never stops operating. Again, we back to A. One, two, three names. If you use your conscious mind to operate the operates dope the said ABCs. That is the stuff of your mind. That's what you use to name and make everything with, including all your thoughts and your ideals. Then you have B. B has one name, the Empress, because that is a ruling mother nature. That bountiful mother nature. She is the providence of all. She is the caretaker of all. She is the world of abundance that some people throughout the ages have defiled. Blame her for being the mother of all sin in the name of Eve, which is short for evolution. Because everything naturally grows 
and aspires. And it grows out of what? Abundance. Yes, she grows everything out of herself. That is the bountiful nature of air, fire, water, earth, hot, cold, wet, dry. It is literally the tree of life. And A, B, C. Yes. C is like as in E equals MC squared. And that C which is light is the beginning of all things in A. Because see, C, B, A. Light, B, A. Wait a minute. What are we talking about? What we're talking about here is knowledge and wisdom. The light of the conscious mind that descended from A. B, C. You see, we're talking about the knowledge and wisdom of the ages that goes beyond B, C. It's A before Christ. Yes, A, B, C. You got to understand that we're dealing with 26 alphabets. 26 alphabets is the robe of your conscious mind. Now, you got to understand, here's what happened. You take the map of Africa, okay? You got the map of Africa. They robbed the libraries of Alexandria, Egypt in 333 B.C. Now, dissect that for a minute. 333 B.C., we're going to deal with the alphabets. T is the 20th letter alphabet, H is the 8th letter alphabet, E is the 5th letter alphabet. Now, T20 plus H, which is 8, is 28. E, which is 5, plus 28 is 33. So 33 is the word the. The is 33. And the third letter alphabet is C. So 333 becomes or transliterates into the light BC because C is light as in E equals MC squared. Now, we're dealing with the light in this sense of knowledge and wisdom, which moves faster than C, which is the symbol of the motion of light. We got Africa. They came down through the delta. They come down through the delta went up to Alexandria with the sword. They went to the heart of Egypt, as in the metaphor that goes that the soldier felt sorry for Christ and he pulled out a sword and stabbed him through the heart. We're dealing with knowledge and wisdom, folks, not the flesh of a man. That's why after the death of Christ, you have the light of the world. Went in straight into darkness as opposed to a lighter world that brought knowledge and truth and salvation for mankind. What we did is went straight into the wilderness. But what was left for all of us to see and understand and revelate all things was the ABCs. They're right there in hieroglyphs. It's called the Unbound Book of Egyptian God Thought, which is thought, by the way. As it is thought, and only thought, not some God. Just some thought of man that devised and developed commerce, writing, mathematics, means of communication and, com and trade. This all came from the thought of man over thousands and thousands of years. Just like they were able to look up and discern the opportunity and operation of the heavens. And when we put all this together, all I'm talking about is the same thing everybody worships. They see it all the time. They throw it around with a band and talk about God, God, this God, that God, and they all arguing. I'm not dealing with religion here, folks. I'm dealing with G-O-D, Great Operation Divine. What is that divine? The elements, air, fire, water, earth, hot, cold, wet, dry. Hot, cold, wet, dry are the qualities, therefore the hands of the operation, the air, fire, water, earth becomes the substance that is the clay. Okay? Everything is made up of air, fire, water, earth, 
and nothing, absolutely nothing, makes air, fire, water, earth. So they have to be divine compared to all else that you could think of or design. And I'm gonna get back to you. I am alchemy. Alchemy, 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 alchemy.